Hello everyone, another video with uh, some decoupage and um, this time I show you some rice paper from Dragonfly Craft and uh, some crackle over it with transparent crackle a varnish and then you can fill up the um, crackles with a color of your choice. Let's begin. I have canvas and canvas board Alice in Wonderland, Easy Coat Glossy, Decoupage, Glue and the Crackle van Polyvane. Some clay mold and some cold wax. Pigment color to fill up the cracks and glossy accent for some 3D effect. First I make sure that the paper fits on the canvas board. This decoupage paper, rice paper it is, is very easy to work with. There is a little bit of texture in the paper. I always um, spray some water on the back side of my decoupage paper because that makes it easier to work with. Then I apply a generous layer of uh, Easy Coat Glossy this time. I choose for Glossy this time instead of the matte because the crackle glaze is also glossy. Because the paper is wet, it will take the decoupage glue very easy. You can see it sticks immediately and then I go with the roller to make sure that the paper is in contact with the canvas everywhere. Hey, if this video is being helpful for you, subscribe would mean a lot to me. What that does for me is it grows my channel and my audience. So if you will do a big thank you from me. I fold the paper over the canvas board and when that is finished you have to uh, protect your image with another layer of decoupage glue. Time to color the canvas. I start with the gesso. And in the wet gesso I spray a little Nouveau Sparkle Spray. And I mix the colors on the canvas. So you can see you can um, use the Sparkle Spray from the Nouveau also to mix with uh, other acrylic paint or gesso. I take the image to um, look if the color is okay, but I'm very pleased with the color. The light green is very nice with the image. I give it an extra layer of decoupage glue because the paper is very uh, absorbing. Now we uh, start with the crackle glaze. It's a two-step crackle and you start with the base. It's white and but it dries clear. The base layer of this medium will stay sticky. When it becomes clear it is dry. I will put a generous layer of the, the base um, crackle on the image. Try to not overwork the glaze, just do one side. You see I'm going vertical with the brush. The drying time is about uh, half an hour. 
you can't use the heat gun or um, the hair dryer. Just let it dry on the natural way. When the base layer is dry, it's clear. So then you can check if it's dry, but it will stay sticky. Time for the second layer, the crackle layer. You can see I load my brush with the crackle glaze and then I'm going horizontal with my brush. Don't overwork it again. The thicker the layer of the crackle glaze, the bigger the crackles will be. You see I stay horizontal with my brush. When you're ready, you're gonna leave it to dry. I'm going from some uh, clay elements in the painting. I have a beautiful mold with feathers, but I'm gonna <laughs> don't use the feathers in this uh, painting, but only the other elements. I choose a cheap air dry clay for this. These are the elements I'm going to use and I'm going to paint them black later on. You hardly can see there are cracks, but there are cracks. <laughs> You're going to see them more when you use a color uh, to fill the cracks. I'm using the color tricks, a uh, green from Powertex, that pigment powder. And I'm using my fingers to fill up the cracks and then a cloth to wipe it clean. You can see it's very easy to use. It's a beautiful crackle medium to use over the decoupage papers. It's a very clear and shiny glaze. See how beautiful. I've painted the elements, uh, the clay elements black and then I, for the color I use the gliding wax from Pebeo Gold. To glue them I use the decoupage glue. For some extra decoration, I make some brush strokes with uh, wax, the cold wax. And um, yeah, I think that makes it uh, more beautiful. I want to watch that Alice has in her hand um, to pop out more and become more 3D. So I'm going to use the glossy accent from Ranger and put three layers on it. It dries very clear and uh, it makes a beautiful 3D effect you can see here. 
you can see it pops out and you can see the beautiful cracks that filled with the color you can also see I painted the edges black because I think that makes my painting and the image more stand out well I hope you liked it and see you next time